Okay, so please write your notes out on a piece of paper. Do not print the notes. Um, this is just for your information. So you're gonna be looking at process skills for understanding geometric relationships and applying theorems and equations about circles. You're gonna apply theorems about circles that include the radius, the tangent, the secants to solve non-consensual problems. So let's go ahead and look at notes one for tangents in circles. Um, your active vocabulary and the theorem immediately that you're gonna talk about are gonna be circle. And we're gonna reference this picture right here. So you should know that a circle is a set of all points on a plane. So it's a set of all points on a plane that are equidistant from a given point. All right, so typically your given point in this situation is gonna be the center. So you're talking about every single point being equal distance or equidistant, however that's pronounced. So whenever you have that center and then it connects to one of the points in the circle, because there's in, an infinite amount of points, you're gonna talk about the radius. So again, you wanna know that the point in the middle is the center. Or in this case, we called it Q. Now you wanna talk about a segment. Now we talked about the radius. So overall, a segment is a line formed with two endpoints. And when you have a segment within a circle, that's gonna be called a radius. So I have an endpoint here, I have an endpoint here, and we're calling that R for radius. Now we're gonna talk about a point of tangency theorem. So the point of tangency theorem, and we're gonna call this line out here, M. So this is the tangent line, and it's M. When the tangent line connects to the radius, I make a right angle. So if M is tangent, to a radius, or center Q at point P, then M is perpendicular to QP. And QP is the length of the radius. So you should know that R equals QP. A, B, and B, C are tangents. Find the value of X. So A, B is tangent to the origin, which means that this is going to form a right angle. A, C is tangent to the origin or the radius which is also gonna form a right angle. So the first thing you need to know about this shape is that it's a quadrilateral or it's four sides, which equals 360 degrees. It's asking you to solve for X, right? Find the value of X. So that's what we're gonna do. A right angle is 90 degrees, and you have two of them. This interior angle right here is 145. So 
So if I take this out, the shape out of the triangle, I'm sorry, out of the circle, it's just asking you to find this angle right here, X. So it's X equals these three angles subtracted from 360. And X is going to equal 35 degrees. PR is tangent to centers Q and S. So this is PR right here. It's tangent to a center Q and center S. So I'm going to get a right angle here and a right angle here. We know that four sides is 360 for polygon and X is going to subtract we're going to subtract all these angles from X to equal X X equals 360 minus 90 minus 90 minus 100 so X will equal 80 okay this is C is AB tangent to center C this is your tangent line, and it's asking you if it forms a right triangle. So if this is a right triangle, it's going to ask you to prove or classify a right triangle. And the way that you're going to do that, you're going to show the Pythagorean theorem. So it's going to be AC equals 30. A, B equals 40, and C, B equals 50. So Pythagorean theorem means that I have A, C squared plus A, B squared equals C, B squared. 30 squared plus 40 squared equals 50 squared. 900 plus 1600 equals 2500. So 2500 equals 2500. So this is true. And remember, you have to show your work to get credit. RP is tangent to center T. Find the radius. So this should be R of the circle. So if this is tangent, that makes TP a right angle to RT. And this is the hypotenuse. So that's 16 plus R. And let's go ahead and set this up. So it wants us to find R. So let's just go ahead and make a little equation. So we know that TP equals R. We know that RP equals 24. And we know that RT equals 16 plus R, which is the same thing as R plus 16. We need to do Pythagorean theorem again. So TP squared plus RP squared equals RT squared. So I have, let's start on the left, R squared plus 24 squared equals R plus 16 squared. And we're going to solve again for R. So I'm going to get R squared plus 24 squared, which is 576 equals R plus 16, R plus 16. I'm going to distribute that. R squared plus 576 equals R squared 
plus 16R plus 16R plus 256. R squared plus 576 equals R squared plus 32R plus 256. Now we're going to solve for R. So minus R squared minus R squared. My new equation is going to be 576 equals 32R plus 256. And then 576 equals 32R plus 256 minus 256 minus 256. 32R equals 320. So R equals 10. Let's talk about vocabulary. A secant line is a line on a plane that intersects a circle at two points. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the theorem that goes with this symbol. So it's known as the party hat theorem. So the party hat theorem basically comes from the shape that's created by the two tangent lines. So you have a tangent line here and you have another tangent line here. So you're basically saying if SR and ST are both tangent, to the center, well, the center P, then you're also saying that SR is congruent to ST. So you're also saying that they are going to be congruent, which makes this somewhat easier. So remember that when you have a tangent line, you're also going to form a right angle. When you have an, and that's when it's tangent to the radius, because you have a second tangent line that is connected to the radius, it also creates a right triangle because ST is perpendicular to PT and SR is perpen oh, excuse me, perpendicular to RP. So they're perpendicular to RP. Okay, find the values of x. So it only has one x, so you only need to find the value of that one. So you need to know that this line right here is the secant line. And this is a tangent, but it does not connect to the center, so it does not create the perpendicular. We know that we have a triangle right here, so we know a triangle equals 180 degrees. We know it's an isosceles triangle. So you know that two angles and two lengths are congruent. And let's go ahead and take this triangle out. So it's saying that this angle right here is 40. These two sides are the same and it wants to know what X is. Well, you should also know that this angle is congruent with the angle to the left of it. So it's gonna be 
180 equals, we're going to call this one x as well, equals x plus x plus 40. And then we're going to solve for x. So 180 equals 2x plus 40, minus 40, minus 40. 180 equals 2x. Divide both sides by 2. So you're going to get x equals 70. And that's your solution. A, B, and B, D are tangent to center x. So that means it's perpendicular. B, D, and B, C are tangent to center y. That also means that they are perpendicular. Find the value of x. So the value of x in this example, it's asking for these tangent lines. It's asking for the x and the length of the tangent line. So what we know here is that A, B, is congruent to BC. So A, B is equivalent to negative 2x plus 37. And B, C equals 6x plus 5. Negative 2x plus 37 equals 6x plus 5. So right here, we're going to solve for x and plus 2x plus 2x, 37 equals 8x plus 5, minus 5 minus 5, 32 equals 8x, so your x equals 4. And that's your solution. Okay, a person standing 17 feet from a petroleum storage tank. The distance to a point of tendency on the tank is 53 feet. What is the radius of the tank? So here you have to make the illustration. Okay, so if I'm making this illustration, I know that I have a tank, which is round. So I know I have a round tank. And we have a center. Let's call the center A. I know I have a person standing 17 feet from the tank. I know I have the point of tangency outside of the circle is going to be 53 feet. I know that when I have a tangency that connects to the radius, that is going to be a right angle. And I also know that any point from the center that's equidistant is also the radius. So in this case, we have a right triangle. This is not drawn to scale. So here's what you need to know. Let's label this point C. You need to know that you have a right triangle A, B, C. C, B is 53. A, C is a radius. And at some point or another, you had another radius. So this is R plus 17. Because if we again included the circle, let's just pretend the circle's here we know that you had a person standing 17 feet out of the tank. So that's a plus sign. I know that AC equals R, CB equals 53, and A, B equals R plus 17. 
So AB is also the hypotenuse. So you need Pythagorean theorem to solve this. So it's going to be R squared plus 53 squared plus equals, sorry, equals R plus 17 squared. So it's going to be R squared plus 2,809 equals r plus 17 times r plus 17. r squared plus 2809 equals r squared plus 34r plus 389 minus r squared minus r squared. 2809 equals 34R plus 389 minus 389 minus 389 34R 34R equals 2520 so then 2520 equals 34R. Divide both sides by 34. R equals 74.12. And that's your answer.